functions in Kotlin without any parameters are going to look just like this with an open and close parentheses. So the parameters are going to be in between the parentheses here and there are no parameters here. So if we were to call do work, of course, nothing would happen. We could say print the line work is happening. And then if we were to run it, of course, we'll do that. Now a parameter is something that we can pass into a function to do work with it. Uh, we can perform some type of value. So what I would like to do maybe is I would like to provide some type of value here. Maybe I want to type in the, the value of 32 into this function. So what I'll do is take the value 32 and say, hey, do work. Uh, this You need to do something with this 32 value. But in order to do that, I need to provide a parameter inside of the function declaration. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is type the word age and it's type. So here, age is going to be an integer and its value up here is going to be 32. So now what I can do is I can say uh, age is, and of course I'm gonna use string interpolation here and say age is age and whatever it's or Let's just do it so that it reads a little better. You are blank. And so it's a you are 32 in this case. So if I were to run this, we would see that do work function says you are 32, which is great. Now if I call this function with another value, let's say 12, we're gonna see two different values returned here. You are 32 and you are 12. So what the parameter allows you to do is allows you to pass in values to your function. So you say you are 32. Now I could also provide other additional values here. So I could put name and I could say it's gonna be a string. So I need to provide the variable argument name and the argument type, which is string for both of them. So again, this is the argument name, argument type, comma. So I need another one in there. Argument name, argument type. Now you'll see that we have a red squiggly up here. That is because IntelliJ says, hey, you're missing a additional value. So I'm gonna type in Dawn. And instead of saying, I could say string interpolation again, name, comma, and we'll have proper punctuation here, period. And if we hit run here, what we'll see is 32 and Don says, Don, you are 32 now. If I were to change this around, I could say something else like 12 and I could put Jonas and Jonas might be 12 for whatever reason. And if we print that out here, we'll have your 12. Now the cool thing you can do with this thing inside of the do work function is now you can start working with these, these values inside here. So maybe you might have an if statement. If the age is less than 21, you might wanna say something different like, I'm gonna cut this out here and we'll say the name you are not old enough. Now, for whatever reason, perhaps you have some logic that states that for someone to use this application, they have to be over the age of 21 for whatever reason. And we want to put, you know, old enough, you are blank, let's say age. Let's just say, Don, you are, let's say far too old at the ripe age of, and then we'll put the age in here. And so now as I run this, we'll get two different values that we're, we're working with here. So we'll see the first one is Don and then the next one is Jonas. So Don, far too old at the ripe age of 32. Jonas, you are not old enough, you are 12. And so I can continue down this road here. Now, if I wanted to start having, if I call this function all over the place, let's say I have a 71 year old and her name is Evelyn and Evelyn's using the app too and she types in her age and we run it. We'll see now that Evelyn also has an entry Evelyn, far too old at the ripe age of 71. Sorry, Evelyn, if you're really not 71. So we can actually start providing various different values in here. They can be any different types here. You can provide one that's a, a Boolean value. So you could say yeah, is happy and you could tap in a Boolean value. And of course, because everybody's happy, we'll just put true here and we'll say true. And you see IntelliJ has given us some nice little hints here of what the actual, this is not something I typed here, is happy or age or name. That's IntelliJ saying, hey, by the way, the name of this parameter is happy. Uh, and then we'll put true here because, hey, Evelyn, everybody's happy. Uh, and we can hit run. And of course, we're gonna run it again. Don, you are far too old age, right, 32. You notice, hey, we didn't do anything with that value. So we, of course, we might need to do something with it, which it says you are happy. 
And then we could put something like this. We could actually put some other type of code in here. Uh, we'd say boom is happy. And then we'll run it again. And of course, now we're going to see each one of them for Don, Jonas, and Evelyn. You are happy, true. You are happy, true. You are happy, true. If for some reason uh, today I was not happy, uh, maybe I stubbed my toe and I were to run it again, we would see that Don is not happy because he stubbed his toe. Jonas and Evelyn, though, are still happy and so forth. So this is how we can start adding in various different parameters. Again, if you need another one, you're going to put a comma in here and you're going to add another one. So we could say foo is going to be of type long. For whatever reason, you may need some different types here. And of course, IntelliJ is going to say, hey, that's, that's not going to work because you need to provide that value up top. So this is how you provide arguments to a function.